Hey, 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 gorgeous people. Welcome to my channel, Being a Carer with Kes. Lately, my ears have heard a lot of things and I decided to do this video because it's important for us to understand the place of pride whilst we are being a carer, a healthcare assistant or a senior carer. Is there really any place for you to be proud? Now, don't get me wrong. You should be proud about whatever job you are doing. Either as a senior carer, a care assistant, a support worker, whatever capacity. A, someone in retail, for instance, a customer service advisor, a teacher, whatever occupation that you do, you should be, you should rather have some worth of pride in what you do. Why? It pays your bills. It puts food on your table. It puts a roof over your head. Does that make sense? But there is a place where pride, and I mean the other type of pride, where you feel, oh, these things are beneath you. You shouldn't be doing them. My name is Kesena Akwara Ati, a health and social care trainer. To all of my old and new returning subscribers, you guys are amazing. Love you loads. And hey, hey, if you just turn me on this channel for the first time, hello there. What are you waiting for? Join the family. Smash the subscribe button. Yeah. Give me a thumbs up. Like the video. And of course, don't forget to click on that all important notification bell. So whenever I upload a new video, you'll be among the very first to know. Okay. So follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Care by Kes, and I will see you there. So without much ado, let's dive into the topic of today, which is should a carer, and by carer, I mean healthcare assistants, senior carers, or a support worker, be proud. Now we've established what pride is and the need for us to be proud about the job that we do because of what we benefit from it. But the type of pride, is, the type of pride rather, that we should be avoiding, should stay clear of, is the pride where you feel that certain things, you shouldn't be doing it. Hello, you signed the contract. Nobody did. And before you signed the contract, you were you had an interview where you were told, set, give certain scenarios of the things to expect and what to do. You gave beautiful responses. And you were also told the kind of um, care you'd be given is that you'd be caring for you know, people with learning disabilities or those with dementia, Alzheimer's, whatever. You were told, you knew before you went into the job. So why on earth are you now saying, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that, I don't want to touch this, I don't want to touch that. Seriously? Well, now, we need to sit down and reassess ourselves. If it's not what you want to do, it doesn't matter if you're in a tier 2 visa or you are a citizen here already. If it's not what you bargained for, you can simply resign. Pack your things and go back to where you came from, even a tier 2 visa. But if you are a resident here in the UK and you feel, nah, this is not for me. This is not my calling. Hello, you are also free to resign and go look for something else to do. There are so many areas you can work in, from retail to teaching to being a, you know, in a warehouse, whatever. There are so many things you can do. Because I honestly think that we need to stop this thing that we are doing, hurting the people who are supposed to be looking after. It's all breaching safeguarding and it is not right. Now, let's not also forget what the good book says. That God himself resists the proud and he gives grace to the humble. We have already established that this job is for the humble. And it's only the humble that can excel in this job. If you have a chip on your shoulders and you are a carer or a support worker or in whatever capacity you are in care, take care of the vulnerable. Be they have terminal disease or, you know, um, dementia or lens abilities or, me or mental illnesses. Remember this, you are going to get old someday. Do you know how you're going to be for you? You do not. You have no idea if you're going to eat gracefully and tastefully or disgracefully and distastefully. Only the big man upstairs knows. So you must understand that in this job, there is no place for you to be proud, to have a chip on your shoulder, to begin to pick and select the kind of duties you want to do and what you don't want to do. Like I said previously, nobody forced you into the job. You took your pain. You signed that you were going to do the job. So for the love of Christ, do it. 
because the truth is that I am sick and tired of hearing these complaints all the time from my colleagues in the training session. Truly, it's hurting my heart so terribly. I'll be honest with you. It's hurting me terribly. And I think we need to stop. And as a result, I will be having a live come the 19th of this month. That is next week, Sunday. And I'm hoping that Wi-Fi behaves. So join me on that live. I will talk more about this because it honestly and truly needs to stop. There was a particular story that I was told by one of my colleagues that came for training. And she said she went to train. I mean, she went to do her shift that day. And then this lady, because she had dementia and all of that, and I think she had blown her nose. You know how they do. If you work in care homes or nursing homes, they blow their nose in a tissue. They put it under their sleeves or in their skirt or their pockets, whatever. They don't like washing their hands. We all know that. Even some of those, you know, who have learning disabilities, they don't like washing their hands. Now, this lady sat there and the old, the old lady came to her and was, you know, touching her arm. And she just started screaming, don't touch me. Those hands are dirty. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. And coincidentally, that lady shouting, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Your hands are dirty. Happens to be the manager of that care home. Now, answer me this question. If that is the manager of a care home behaving like that, what do you expect the carers to do? That means those people in that home are suffering and not getting the best care possible. And may I also add here that these people, they pay for their care in those care homes or nursing homes. So they should be given the care they deserve, a high standard of care, because they are paying good money for that. If they all decide today, their families get wind of all this that is going on and they decide to move their people from those homes, what will be left? That home is definitely going to close. Or if CQC gets in there, what do you think will happen? They will shut them down. So please, if you're a carer out there and you're doing things you ought not to be doing because you saw people doing it, hello, then you need to be at that live on Sunday 19th at 6 p.m. We will be talking about it. Because seriously, it needs to stop. If you are so proud, why are you on the job? Why are you a carer? And that is why the NHS guidelines for all carers and other, other social workers is that you are bare from the elbow down. Now, I have had situations where I'm looking at someone and they sneeze on my hand. Ooh, you have flame everything on my arm. What do I do? I go into the bathroom. I wash it. I put my sanitizer if I'm scared that they have a germ or if they have a cold. I put on my wash my hands. I put on my sanitizer to protect myself, to protect my family. Because I'm still going to go back home to take care of my family. Now, I'm not going to say that because I'm there. Don't sneeze on my hand. No. I am there for one reason. And one reason alone. So also are you to look after them. So put pride in your pocket. Keep, or keep it at home. Leave it at home. It has no business following you to work. Because you are there to serve. And remember this. Don't ever forget it. That he that will be great someday must first start by being a servant. So if you want to be served, you must learn to serve others. If you cannot do that, then I'm sorry. You cannot be served either. Does that make sense? So I look forward to seeing you all on my live on Sunday the 19th of February. And I hope this time that the Wi-Fi will behave. Let's talk more. Tell me about your experiences. And I will tell you some of those things maybe you are doing already. You have no inkling that they are wrong. That you should stop doing them. So that we can learn to, so that we can try together rather to give these vulnerable people a good life. If that makes any sense. So pride has no place in care. Please, let us bear that in mind. Be proud of the job that you do. It's fine. But in picking and selecting the jobs you want to do for this people is a no-no. So remember this, guys. Never you forget it. That no matter what the matter is, you, my darlings, you matter so much more. Au revoir.